In this video presentation, we're going to show you how to create a jQuery slider in Lignum Web Scroller Builder. First, let me explain you what Lignum Web Scroller Builder is. Lignum Web Scroller Builder is a feature application that lets you create any type of jQuery sliders like content sliders, image sliders, video sliders, and much more without writing any code. All the sliders that are produced by Lignum Web Scroller Builder perfectly work in all browsers, in all platforms and all devices. Ok, let's begin with our tutorial. First, open Ligno Web Scroller Builder. On the splash screen that appears, select the example you want to start with and click Create New Project from Example. Choose the example that best fits the design you want to create. Then, select the folder in which you want to save your scroll project, give it a name and then click Save. In Project Items tab, you can see the generic scroller choice and then the populated scroller settings. You have four population methods as you can see in the screenshot. You can populate your scroller content through div tags or through ULLI tags in your actual page, inside the compiled JavaScript file or through external feed like RSS, Atom, XML. Choose the population method that best fits your needs. In Project Items tab, you can set your scroller items. You can add, remove or generally edit your scroller items. You can also set the content of your items and some extra settings like item info, item tooltip, item, item modal, etc. In Project Items tab, you can also set the position of your scroller. You can have it as embedded in page or as floating in page. In Style Editor tab, you can set the behavior settings of your scroller, such as the transition effect, if it will play automatically on page load, if it will swipe from touch devices, and much more. In Style Editor tab, you can set the appearance of your scroller. Here is where you can define all the styling for your scroller. You can set styling properties for the scroller areas, for the scroller items, for the scroller item tooltips. You can enable and stylize the navigation bar, the thumbnail bar and the navigation arrows. After you have created your slider the way you wanted it, it's time to publish it. Click on Publish and the Publish project window will appear. Click on Edit and select your Publish folder, the folder in which you want the compiled files to be placed. Edit the sample page name or leave the default. You can also uncheck it in case you don't want a sample page to be created. Set the compile project name or leave the default. Finally, select for which domain you want to compile that project. Or you can select unlimited in case you own an unlimited domain's license. Then click on publish button. The sample page has been created so you can see the scroller in action. In order to add a scroller in your page, go to the Sample Code tab, copy the highlighted code and paste it on your page. The scroller linking code must be placed right after the body tag of your page. The scroller content code must be placed where you want it to appear on your page in case of the div or ULLI population. For more information, you can visit www.lignode.com do not forget to subscribe to our channel so you can stay informed with our upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.